Shane Watson here from Boxer and I. We've got Frank Warren here with us. Um, massive announcement for for your promotional outfit today. Joe Joyce, um, co-promotional deal with Ringstar. Yeah. Um, you've already got Daniel Dubai and Nathan Gorman and Tyson Fury. And now you add Joe Joyce to that um, big heavyweight stable. Let's tell us about what your plans are for Joe Joyce moving forward from today. Well, he's fighting on the undercard of uh, Billy Joe Saunders on the 18th of May at uh, Stevenage. Um, he'll be fighting an opponent, we haven't got one yet, but he'll fight an opponent which has been similar to what he's been fighting, which is quite a good standard. And then he'll be come through that fight okay, he'll be on our big heavyweight night that we're doing on the 13th of July at the O2 in London. Um, with Joe Joyce, is um, obviously Olympic pedigree and already the great names he's fought in the pro ranks, how fast are you expecting to move him now he's got that pedigree? Well, I, I mean, look, I, 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 as you well know, I, I like to put the, the brakes on a bit, but his management team and Joe himself really, really want to move, so that's what will happen. He's uh, in a position now where he's, uh, he's the, the uh, mandatory for this WBA um, title, and he's also uh, been nominated as the number one for the European title, so he just wants to move forward as quickly as possible. You speak about a big heavyweight night that you got planned. Um, obviously, everyone loves heavyweight nights because that means one thing, big knockouts, and that's what people pay to see in boxing. Well, they like the heavyweights. Heavyweights is a sexy division. It certainly is in the UK at the moment. You know, we've had a it seems now all the best heavyweights come out of the UK and uh, you know Tyson's the best in the world in my opinion and we got the three of the next best guys coming through. What, what kind of names can you expect to see on their heavyweight boxing like you just uh, said for July? Well who will be boxing on there will be Joe and there will be Daniel Dubois and there will be Nathan Gorman. And um, what kind of opponent can you expect for the names you just gave us? We'll be announcing the details of that next week. And you said in the press conference about Billy Joe Saunders fighting for the full, potentially fighting for the full WBO Correct. title. Um, when can you expect an announcement on that to make well, it official? I spoke to uh, Bob Arum a couple of days ago and he said that um, Ramirez would be writing to the WBA um, informing them that he was vacating the super middleweight belt. As soon as he does that, automatically Bill's fight will be for the title. And with how tough the super middleweight division is at the moment, we've I mean, got some great uh, fighters in there, Cunningham Smith being one of them. Yeah. Can we expect to see some maybe unifications going forward? I'd love that fight. I know Bill would like that fight. I'm sure Callum would. That's a, that's a big, big domestic fight. You know, big world level fight. You know, Bill's done everything at every level. You know, he's represented his com country in the Olympics. He's won the British, the, the Commonwealth, European. Uh, and world titles, he's moved up a division, he just wants the best, he wants the biggest fights out there. People have avoided him, you know, Canelo avoided him and uh, Golovkin avoided him twice having, we, having sent us contracts that we signed and sent back. He just wants the big fights. He's been inactive for, by the time he gets in the ring for nearly, what, 18 months, maybe, maybe, maybe more than that. So um, he's got to come back with a bang and obviously he's got to win his fight at Stevenage, that's no foregone conclusion, he's moving up the division, I don't know. You know, hopefully he'll be comfortable at that division, but he's moving up a division. If he comes through that and wins the title, it will set up some big fights for him in the future. And also with the uh, pullout potentially of um, Daniel Dubois' opponent this weekend, can we expect a replacement to be announced maybe? In well, we're, what's happened is that whilst we've been having a press conference, uh, my office is speaking to the uh, British Home Office, who I understand are speaking to their counterparts at the embassy in. Accra, Ghana, trying to get this situation resolved. The problem we have is if it's not resolved um, by late this afternoon, there's no way he can fly here tomorrow for the weigh-in, so it'd be a dead duck. So I'm hoping that get resolved. They're looking at a couple of opponents. The problem we have in that is that because of the British Boxing Board of Control regulations, and quite rightly so, you can only bring fighters in from certain countries because of obviously get acclimatising, and making sure all their medicals and so forth, blood samples are all in order. So they're working very hard to make this happen. But this evening we will make a decision one way or another what the, what the position will be regarding Daniel. Okay, thanks for talking to Boxer now, Frank. It's good to have you on. It's a pleasure, my yeah. son.